Hi guys, it's Kaz, AKA the Queen of Glitter. And today I'm getting ready to be Ariel for a birthday party. So I thought you guys might be interested in that. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my contacts, which I learned that I can't have anything on my face as I'm attempting to get the contacts into my eye. Cause like sometimes I, I accidentally put my um, primer on my face and then tried to like be able to maneuver my eye open and my fingers are just sliding around. So the first thing I do always is put in my contacts, step one. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Okay, now my eyes are blue. I wear the uh, monthly contacts, so it's actually almost time for me to switch to my next month, but I have zero prescription, which is both fortunate and unfortunate because my insurance will not cover my contacts, which if I had even just like a little bit of a need for a prescription, they would, but I do not. So here we are. Alas, even though both my parents have really bad vision, so I don't know how I escaped that one. Okay. So I'm gonna put my hair back just for the moment. Usually what I'll do is I will French braid it underneath the wig. Although today, since we're aerial, that wig is a lot more forgiving than like me trying to get my hair into the Cinderella wig or the Elsa wig. Um, so probably not gonna have to French braid it, which is nice. Okay, so first I'm just gonna do a little bit of face primer. I like the one from e.l.f. because it's good and cheap. Okay, so next I'm gonna put on my foundation, which I like Stay Matte. Um, because it's really is a nice mattifying foundation and I feel like it's not too heavy on my face while still giving that kind of like clean coverage. Like I have to wear, I don't usually wear makeup if I don't have to, to be honest, but um, even though I really do enjoy it, but for my face and skin, like I don't like to, to wear foundation or anything because it, it has been the thing I think that has led me to like skin problems in the past. Um, but wearing something super, super duper light, like, um, whatever it's called, it's not gonna work the the same if I like have to be aerial and I need to cover up some of my freckles. So this stuff works great for me. And also, again, a reasonable price. I tried to get into beauty blenders, but I just, I prefer my fingers, I don't know. I tried. So now I look terrifying with my slightly white eyebrows. Um, <laughs> but we're gonna keep them like this for a second and we're gonna do blush real quick. For some reason, every blush that I end up buying like loses the top, it just breaks off. I can't, I can't explain why. So I'm gonna go with the lightest pink, it's kinda like an icy pink, all the princesses. I usually use this color, it's just very like, Pink princess. They're super you know, smiley. Think you have enough blush on? You're wrong. You need more blush. If you're trying to be a princess. And then when I'm elsewhere on, sometimes I'll go over my nose a little bit too because their noses always look a little bit pink because they're in the cold. Not too much though, so it doesn't look weird. Okay, so now we will do our eyebrows. Which, to be honest, I haven't figured out the exact perfect way to do this yet. 
just all the red lip liners I have are too intense. So I like to instead just take, um, this is like a different brow, like it was the cheap little brow thing that I bought. Um, and using it with a little bit of red eyeshadow from my crazy all the colors of the world palette, which we will be using again for our eyeshadow. But it's good for me to do the eyebrows first in case there are there's any fallout or mistakes. Sometimes they just turn out really stupid. <laughs> so let's try to not do that. Eyebrows, check. So now we're gonna do a shadow. So first I'm gonna do a little bit of the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer in Sin, which I used to just get the original, but Sin is a little bit sparklier, so it looks nice underneath things, especially if you're going for that Princess Llama look. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our palette of many colors here. Alright. So here I have an array. Um, what they do at Disneyland, which is what we do at our company, is she has like a yellow and orange um, eyeshadow kind of look going on. So that is what I'm gonna do. We just follow what Disney does. Once I have this on, I do honestly feel like a fish, so <laughs> I don't know uh, if that's the way that I'm supposed to feel or not. Okay, perfect. And it's definitely exaggerated because, you know, again, we're going for that princess look. Hashtag. You don't do anything small. I do not do anything. Now, you could put on eyeliner. I don't like to wear eyeliner. I feel like it just kind of makes my eyes look too heavy. I'll only sometimes use it with a look. Um, also, I got this on Amazon, if anyone is interested. They have like a million crazy rainbow colored palettes, which is nice. Um, it's easy to find on there. It's very hard to find in other stores for not $5 million. So I am gonna do just fake eyelashes. First, I just got these. They're um, Ardell, the Wispies. I like the Wispies because, yeah, they're kind of ridiculous looking, but they're not too ridiculous looking. Cause like sometimes I feel like it goes too far. Um, sometimes it's just too unbelievable, but at the same time, I'm supposed to be wearing kind of unbelievable eyelashes. So here we have our songs. So I just put a little bit of eyelash glue on, on my wrist. Drag this bad boy through.
All right, so put those away. And grab the eyelash curler so that we can blend these things together. Wow, that's kind of terrifying to watch on camera. Now let's just add a smidge of mascara. Which I just started using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Which I do have to admit is very good. It is very good. Right, only one last step. That would be Ariel's signature red lip. So I'm gonna grab my handy dandy Kylie lipstick. Believe it or not, I don't know what possessed me to buy this. I just did one day, and honestly, it's really good. Like I was pretty shocked, but it's good because it'll stay there so like even if a child attempts to touch my face my lipstick will not come off and I can tell them that mermaids just have red lips that is how we are underneath the water All right, here we go I did overline just a smidge and then filled in the rest because Ariel does have quite the pout, but we're not going for Instagram baddie or anything like that. All right, so now I just want to put on some powder to make sure that nothing moves at all, which I definitely need to buy more of because it's currently being difficult. So let me just take this lid off. Yes we can. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm, that little little smidge left. Which I'm using the stay matte powder powder that goes with the foundation. If I ever wear a different lip color too, other than red, I will also powder it. So let it stay. Amazing. All right. Boom. We're going. See, there you go. Okay, so I'm just gonna braid my hair instead of doing French braids. So I'm just gonna do regular relaxed. Regular little relaxed braid. Make my life easier. I just got my hair cut and colored, so it is living its best life. Now I'm just gonna take the two braids and I'll wrap them around each other at the back of my head. And then grab some bobbin pins. Which I also have a million of at this point. Make sure that will stay, perfect.
Now we're gonna add wig cap. Luckily for me, Ariel and I have the same hair color, so I don't have to take as many steps to try and hide my hair as I do when I'm playing a blonde. And I get very paranoid about how much of my actual hair color is showing. All right, so let's grab Ariel. To be clear, this is not my Ariel dress. I'm just going to be taking a picture in this outfit first before I put on my gown. All right. There's a strap on the back of all wigs, two little hooks that you put together and it'll tighten it to your head. This is my transformation into Ariel. <laughs> I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. But Daddy, I love him! Let me put on a little perfume. Oh, I know this bitch. Well, that is my transformation into Ariel from The Little Mermaid. So uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching me put pounds and pounds of makeup on my face. So this is what I do all the time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me know if you liked watching the transformation, if you're interested, because um, I can do more, because I transform into other princesses as well. Tomorrow I'm going to be my girl Cindy Rella, so uh, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!